Hey what's up guys, TMD in the building, it's been a long time since I've done one of these model kits, reviews, unboxings, I've been uh, doing a lot of ramen reviews as you've all been watching maybe, um, but this is very interesting today guys, today, or a few days ago, I went to meet my friend in Omiya, Saitama, and they had a new uh, business or shop that is a gachapon shop now what i have here in my hands i know some of you guys who are interested in in the field of insects and bugs and all that kind of stuff i am a big fan of praying mantises now this is a gachapon ball cost me 500 yen uh, it's from bandai actually believe it or not and it is a model of a praying mantis believe it or not it comes in this bot in this ball design which is very unique because i think this doubles up as a stand so i'm going to open this up our oh, instructions there maybe i should read the instructions first um i think there are three or five to collect they come in different colors um these are praying mantises related to japan um, I think, well, I don't know how many species there are, I haven't checked how many there are in Japan, but um, it comes with the instruction booklet here, some information from Bandai Gachapon, um, oh, so that basically slides off, then you've got your, oh, nice, oh, this is so cool, um, I presume this doubles up as a stand, but uh, let's... Um, do that later right so you have one two three four five bags in here um this would be the abdomen so i'm just looking at the instructions here the instruction booklet is quite small so uh, it is colored plastic wow <laughs> this is so cool so with the ad abdomen part, it actually has some articulation in there. Very small, but it does move. Let's get to, I think these are the wings the, and the legs. So if you guys have been checking out some of my photography work, or if you're a friend of mine on um, Facebook, you'll know that I've been... Uh, taken quite a lot of pictures of praying mantises that I've well some have actually been around my garden area I my front doorstep um, big shout going out to Ben Gilbert um, he's a really talented modeler from the UK um, oh wow that's the arm there wow he, 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 he articulates that is so cool. I mean, do you know what you could do with these? You could actually paint these as well, probably. That's one of the legs. Doesn't articulate in this section, but it does there. And that's the other leg there. Awesome. Awesome. I don't know if that must be one side. I don't know. I'm going to leave the other side in the bag because I want to cross-reference this. These bags are terrible to get in. I've got a bloody knife here. So Ben Gilbert is a, a good friend of mine from the UK who actually keeps these insects as pets, <laughs> believe it or not. That's the main body. Oh wow, this is so cool, man. I didn't think it was like this. It comes in like a car, it's got a cardboard protector to uh, protect the um, antenna bits. I don't know what the actual scientific name is for this, but it's like a, it's like a plastic, but it comes, the eyes, uh, optic, can you see? That's so cool, that's better than what I thought it was going to be. Right, so it's a basically 
you know, it's it's male and um, female connectors in there. I think that's the stand to prop it up, but that's um, that's really cool. Okay, so well, we can start building it. Look, that came up. So I presume this goes in here, the forex. Um, it seems that the joints are a little bit stiff. It just pops in like that. Awesome. Um, Swip it over like that. I'm wondering where the ball joint for that goes. There must be another part to this somewhere. Oh, sorry, yeah. So that's the whole back section. I'm just trying to see how oh, that fits. Yeah, that fits in there. Is that right? These are a little bit, um, a little bit stiff. I presume that goes in there. Like that. Can you see? They've got um, swiveling joints here. The head must just fit on there. It's quite a big joint, is that? Oh man, this is so cool. <laughs> Kamakiri in Japanese is the name. This joint is a little bit weird to uh, to fit in, but. I presume it's a little bit stiff. Okay. So you're left with that. I'm not really happy about these antennas. I might have to uh, adjust these later. But anyway, that can be sorted out. The legs. I'm just looking at this now. Observing it. Because I presume the shorter... Sections go like that, maybe. Ah, oh, sorry, so oh, okay. This forearm goes here. I mean, like I said, you could, you could. Oh, <laughs> this is so dark, man. That's one, two. What's the? Oh, that's the clear part there. That must be for the wing. There's one, eight, I'm just looking here, I'm studying guys, studying, there's another leg section there, and the middle one, I think this one, goes there like that, open this last bag up now, these are the wings. And I've got the clear parts to put on as well. So let me do the easier stuff first by attaching these arms. These do articulate as well. This is the maddest gachapon ever. It, yeah, this joint is really annoying me. I don't know why it doesn't. I mean it fits but it just it's really weird how it, how it comes about for some reason I don't know why this is but well wait a minute I think I'm doing something wrong here I think I don't know if it's supposed to go like that yeah Scary. I had to just go off camera just to check some things on it, uh, but I think this is how it it fits together.
<laughs> um, these wings actually fit in here, I think. Because there's a clear joint part there. It's, it's kind of weird, this, because some, some of the joints are really tight. And some of the joints are are not so brilliant. Like this joint here is just fallen out. It just clips in, so if it does happen, don't worry. Um, what's that wing there? Where's the other wing? Where did I put it? Ah. It's pretty gnarly, man. Yeah, these joints are a bit crap and as you can see like that just happened but it is pretty delicate so where are you mr mantis there he is this joint i mean you could improve the joints um but as you can see i'm having a little bit of trouble here some of the joints seem a little bit weird you know, nothing's in place. Uh, Quality-wise, it's not the best, but as you can see, it's it's taking some shape right now. And I think there are options of putting these wings on. I think so you can have it like. How the hell does that fit on? Okay, these wing sections here, they come in two pieces, you can see that on camera, but they just slot in like that, to make one big one, okay I get it, because it would have been difficult to package I think, you know, Gatchapun to have it this size, so you get your both wings there, see that, that leg joint's really pissing me off. I think that should just there you go see how things popping off it's a little bit annoying but it is 500 yen I don't expect it to be super high quality but oh and I think I put the wings the wrong way around Shizer. Is that right? No. I think that was in the right position. The wings. I'm looking at reference of the. Uh, eh? the uh, internet page because that wing ah oh, okay yeah my bad these joints are really finicky man that's the only downside to this as you can see I'm having some problems with it and it doesn't matter how hard you put those those joints in they just pop out in and out so that's the only downside of having this this shit's coming loose oh man that's clipped in I think in the picture it's got it like slightly elevated like that. Yeah. Um, that fits in there. Let's rotate the head a little bit. The 
back leg is is there. <laughs> it's pretty mad, man. That's pretty mad. Let me put it on the display, guys. Now I'm just looking at the um, the stand. I'm not sure that just seems to just clip out. that's supposed to be in reverse oh, okay that I think that's supposed to fit like this Maybe it's the wrong hole there Awesome, yeah, you, you can have it like that. I don't think this top bit is has any usage, but um, as you can see, ah, okay, so this stand actually fits. You need to like line it up um, so it's spaced out here. Oh, this joint is so annoying there. I think it's supposed to... <sighs> I'm just checking. The, the, the instructions here are so... like... annoying to read. I think it goes like that. Ah, okay, yeah, those, those are braced in there. <clears throat> like I said, it's a little bit finicky, especially like for people like me with um, with big hands. It's it's a, it's a bit difficult. So if you've got small hands, you've got little kids who can do this. There you go. Wow, it's a little bit back heavy, you see? Oh my god! Oh! Oh man, it, look at it. I mean, I'm showing you, like, what the issues of putting this together is like. Um, it's a bit annoying to say the least ah oh, there you go you know I'm building this without edits so I'm sorry if this is annoying you with the amount of times these joints keep popping in and out what is wrong with that that's so annoying I'm trying to bend that back there. a lot of weight on there <laughs> there you go just needs a little bit of manipulation I'm trying to be really careful here because as you know I've been uh, struggling a little bit with this but as you can see it's done it's pretty cool, man. Head, there's a bit of articulation in there. And, uh, that's it. Um, I, I want to change that. I want to bend them or do something with those. 
Um, but yeah, it's pretty dark. I think, like I said, there are there are five of these to collect. Um, there are a few drawbacks to it, um, as you can see with what I was trying to do. Um, you know, there's the joints are a bit fucking here and there, but um, apart from that, you you know, it's it's decent. Huh? Like I said, you can um, probably paint this, fix that mould line, glue it all together, pin it, and you can um, probably make a more realistic mantis if you painted it. But as a as a just a little snap together thing, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Pretty interesting, especially if you're a fan of praying mantises. Um, like I said, the, there's a few niggling things I don't like about this, but um, it, it needs to be adjusted somehow. But there you go, guys. I'll take that out. That's the uh, Bandai Gachapun praying mantis. See you later, guys. Peace.